Hello and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, we talk about Ledger and we talk about Bybit. And in particular, I want to show you how you can move funds or cryptocurrency coins or tokens off an exchange, in this case Bybit, and uh, then store them on a hardware wallet, in this case Ledger. So um, if you, before we start, if you like to support the channel, if you like the content, you can find uh, two links to one for Ledger and one for buy bit in the video description and if you don't have a ledger and if you're interested in one and if you are not on buy bit yet and you might want to sign up for buy bit then feel free to use those links it would support the channel and sometimes um, ledger may offer a discount and buy bit may offer a bonus but that changes you know week after week so uh, i can't promise anything so best to take a look at that when you click on the link so let's take a look we are now in this ledger dashboard if you don't have a ledger you will not know about this and you will never have seen this. Um, but it's basically the wallet here on the ledger and it is very straightforward. So in this video, I will move USDT onto the ledger. USDT, that's an ERC20 token. So to store USDT here on the ledger hardware wallet, I need to go to receive because I want to receive something and I can select here the app. Um, or chain yeah and you can add new apps as well so in this case it would be ethereum and they obviously warn you please only send eth or ethereum tokens to ethereum accounts and it is an ethereum token it's an erc20 token sending other crypto assets may result in permanent loss of funds so i click on continue okay so i'm now in the ethereum app and i see my address the ethereum address that i can use to send usdt to the ledger so what i have to do i have to copy this address and then i go over to bybit so here on bybit what i have to do i have to go into my assets i have to go into withdraw because i want to withdraw usdt i have to go to in this case, spot withdraw. And I don't have any, well, I, I have a little bit of BTC actually, but um, what is important is now USDT. So there are some funds on here. I have to paste in now the address. I have to select the chain type, which would be ERC20 in this case. Yeah because we're talking about USDT and I'm sending it to a ledger. And I select, in this case, the minimum amount is 10 USDT. So I'm gonna select that and then click Submit in a second. Um, one important thing when you, when you do that, make sure that you only send ERC20 tokens to the Ethereum address. Anything else like Polkadot, yeah, or ADA need to be sent to their respective assets uh, or apps. Yeah, for example, for Binance, we're talking about BEP20 tokens. It's very important. Um, make sure when you do it for the first time or you are unsure, then only send a very, very small amount as a test transaction. Yeah, yes, you will waste a little bit of transaction fees, but you will potentially save your assets if you made a mistake. So if you send a small amount, just sort of a test quantity first, then you at least are quite sure that everything is correct and you have peace of mind. So I click on submit now. Okay, now we can see here withdrawal application has been submitted. So that's now ongoing and I have to wait a few minutes and then these 10 USDT should turn up on the ledger. Okay, and here we can see that we have just received Tether USD from the address and uh, everything's fine. So that's on the ledger now and that was hopefully quite straightforward. I know there's always a little bit of a learning, co a learning curve involved with it, but I think it's worth it. I can only recommend hardware wallets and um, if you're interested again in a ledger or in registering on Bybit, you can find the links in the video description. Hope you like the update and tutorial. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.